to start with table one, we're going to just take them in order. You were looking at... Suzanne. Um, Suzanne's got beautifully written out for Oh, you. she has fantastic. <laughs> yes. Would, it, uh, would changes to the regulation of the profession improve the contribution that nurses make to experience and outcomes? Thank you. Um, Suzette Woodward, National Patient <laughs> Safety Agency. Having been to a number of these now, um, we've got them down to three hand. key messages. <laughs> um, so, we had a very lively debate, exceptionally lively debate actually, had to calm them down a bit, but um, <laughs> the first one is, clearly system and professional regulation that need to work together as a partnership. Um, how you quite get that partnership needs working on. Um, but that partnership should focus on the safety, effectiveness and experience and um, have that as their three kind of um, uh, cl clear focus. Um, to ensure that there's an improved early warning system across the regulators. Clearly there isn't uh, an enough of the right information at the right time in terms of picking things up early. The second one is that regulation is only one component of a really good system and should be seen as that. But it does have a very clear leadership role which should promote the just culture and the known evidence-based best practice. And our third key point is um, related to CQC, um, the belief that it needs to provide clearer evidence to their findings, triangulated, open and transparent, to support implementation and not just compliance. What prompted the last point about um, the CQC? What Could you tell us a bit more about what was behind your, uh, your uh, comment there? Um, we talked about the... Um, specifically about staffing levels and actually the comments made about staffing levels by the CQC which we felt on occasions were um, a result of comments by individual staff who were interviewed as part of the process and there wasn't enough reliance on the dependency acuity data, the skill mix staffing reviews that's been done and the stuff that Catherine was talking about earlier really. We felt that that had was failing to happen. The point is it's not just about numbers, it's what no. those staff are doing Absolutely. in their Still tasks and, and what yeah. outcomes they deliver. Yeah. Thank you. What, what about the, the, the other people? Are there other changes that you'd like to see or comments that you've made on what you've heard from, from that <coughs> table? Oh, it's going to be so silent. <laughs> Sorry. Um, do, do you agree with the proposals that they've, uh, they've made? Okay, I'm, I'm thank you. Just slight, slightly concerned about the last one because it's, you know, the one thing I learned from the first seminar is don't blame the regulators. And, you know, they'll, they'll do what they do, let's help them get it right. But it's not their fault patient care has gone wrong, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, CQC only, very, well, they usually only go into places where care is a problem. So do they might come out with the wrong reasons why it's a problem, but that... That doesn't yeah. matter. So would, would having a stronger or, or different set of early warning indicators, is, that, is there a, call, a, a, a case for those being improved? Um, Colin, you're nodding. What, do you, what, what do you think they might look at, for example? I think, if you, we, I think we would need to agree what sort of set of early warning signs that they would need to look at. Um, you know, for me, there's, there's something about other variables apart from just the staffing numbers and the, whether it's qualified or, un or unregistered nurses looking after patients. There might be other things going off in that environment that would give you some sort of warning that uh, your care might not be the right or not being supervised at the right quality. Um, so, you know, is, the, is there a gap at wall system level? Is there a gap at matron level? Something that's not policing the system might be something that you begin to think, actually, I need to worry, worry a little bit about that. Or there might be, you know, I don't think on my the feet there, this is just about there would be other things that we'd want to pick up on yeah. and actually collectively across the system that would give us that one. And I think the message that's come out is that there isn't one single matter. You do have to have a basket of things that together point to a picture of, uh, of problems. I think that's right, and I think that goes right back to the beginning of the day, doesn't it? When Catherine said, stood up and said, actually, there's a range of indicators, there's a number of other factors, and actually the whole thing tells you a story. And without that story, you can't actually confirm that the system is either good or bad. Yeah. 